Hello everybody, in this video we're going to create an interactive quiz game using Java. For this project, you'll create an array of your own custom questions, and a two-dimensional array of all the different options for answers that we have. You'll type in a number 1 through 4 depending on your guess. After all of the questions are answered, we will display a final score, depending on the amount of correct guesses that you have. So let's begin. As a beginner, it might be helpful to you to break down your project into different steps. As comments, we'll list all of the different steps we need to take to get this program up and running. The first thing that we need is an array of questions. Questions will be an array. We will also need options. Options will be a two-dimensional array. We will declare our variables. We'll need a welcome message. We will list each question using a loop. I'll just write in parentheses that we will use a loop. Now within this loop, we're going to do a few things. We will list our options, then get guess from user, then check our guess to see if it's correct. At the end of this program, we will display final score. So here's a rough outline of our project. We'll fill this project in one step at a time. Let's begin with creating an array of questions we'll ask the user. The data type will be a string array of questions. Here's where you're going to ask all of your questions. In this project, we'll have five questions. They're all going to be very long strings. For our first question, you don't need to type in the same questions that I do. Feel free to come up with your own. Here's a few that I've looked up online. My first question will be, what is the main function of a router? That'll be the first question. I'll put each of these questions on a new line just for readability. The second question will be, which part of the computer is considered the brain. Then I'll go to a new line. What year was Facebook launched? Who is known as the father of computers? Then for my last question, what was the first programming language? All right, here are the questions. Questions is an array of strings, a one-dimensional array. Now we'll create a two-dimensional array of options. We will create a two-dimensional array of strings named options. We have five questions. That means we need five arrays. One array for each question. I'll place each of these on a new line for readability. Our first array within our 2D array of options will hold all of the options for our first question. Each value within this first array is going to be strings. And I'm going to zoom in a little so we can both read it. What is the main function of a router? Here's where you're going to list all of the different possible answers, but only one of them is going to be correct. I'll say one dot space storing files. For option two, that will be encrypting data. Option three will be for directing internet traffic. This will be the correct answer. Number three. Number four will be managing passwords. This will be my first array. All the options for question one. Now for question two.
For question two, we'll have four options. Honestly, I'm just going to copy these and then paste them within each array, just to speed things up. What part of the computer is considered the brain? Here's the different options. Option one will be CPU. That's going to be the correct answer. The central processing unit. Two, hard drive. Three, RAM. Four, GPU. Question three, what year was Facebook launched? Option one will be 2000. Option two, 2004, and that's the correct answer. 2006 or 2008. Who is known as the father of computers? Let's say Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Alan Turing, or Charles Babbage, and that's the correct answer. What was the first programming language? Either COBOL, C, Fortran, or Assembly. The correct answer is actually Fortran. It's the first commercially available programming language. One more thing, we're going to create a one-dimensional array. What are the correct answers? We'll need some sort of key. We could include this with our declare variable step. We will create an integer array of answers. We will list the correct answers as integers. The correct answer to question one is directing internet traffic. So we will list three. For the next question, what part of the computer is considered the brain? That is the CPU. Option one, Facebook was launched in the year 2004, that's two. Who is the father of computers? That is Charles Babbage, that's four. And the first commercially available programming language is Fortran, that is three. Here are the correct answers, our key. There's a few more variables we'll need. We will create an integer variable of score. We can set that to be zero if we would like, and an integer of guess. Guess is going to store whatever the user types in, one through four. So it's going to be an integer. We will also need a scanner to accept user input. Scanner scanner equals new scanner. It doesn't really matter where we declare it, just as long as we declare it before we use it. System.in, and then we will import this class import java.util.scanner and then close our scanner at the end of our program when we're done with it. Scanner.close. All right, here are the variables we'll need, including our options and our questions. Our next step is to create a welcome message. Let's output the following. Let's say welcome to the Java quiz game. And then I'll add some separators, a bunch of asterisks, because I think it'll look cool mostly. We have our welcome message, and I'll just perform a test run. It's a good idea to test your code as you're coding it, just to be sure that everything is working fine. And that is our welcome message. Now we'll loop through all of the questions that we have. we'll probably want to use a for loop. We will create an index of i. int i equals zero. We'll continue this loop as long as i is less than the length of our array of questions. Questions access the length property, which will return a number, in this case five, because there's five questions. We will increment i by one. As a test, let's print our questions at index of i. i will start at 0, so we're returning the first question at index 0. Then during each iteration of this loop, we will display each question. Let's do a test run. So here are the five questions. We're displaying each element of our array of questions. After each question, 
we have to list all of the different options. That's the next step. We'll display a question, then create a nested loop to display all of the options. I'm going to use an enhanced for loop for this. What is the data type of each value within each array within options? Well, we're working with strings. The inner for loop is going to be an enhanced for loop. The data type of each value is a string. String option colon meaning in array of options at index of i. Options is a two dimensional array. If we retrieve a value at a given index, we'll be given an array. Display every option in each inner array. So to demonstrate that, let's print each option. So here's what we have. After printing each question, we will loop through and print all of the options. Now, before moving on to the next question, we have to get some user input. We don't want to display all the questions right away, just one at a time. So we will do this within the outer for loop after printing all of the options. This is where we will get the guess from the user. We will create a prompt to enter your guess. And I will use print instead of print line because I like the user input on the same line. We will assign our variable of guess. Guess equals scanner dot next int. The user is going to type in a number one through four. Then we have to check our guess. Is it correct or not? We can do the following. We'll use an if statement. If our guess is equal to our array of answers, it's a one dimensional array at index of i. We're using the index of i because we're still within our for loop. During the first iteration of this loop, i will be zero. So is our guess equal to answers at index zero? If that is correct, let's print the following. Let's say correct. And for fun, I'll add some text decoration, some of those separators. Again, it's not necessary. I just think it'll look cool. Else, if our guess doesn't equal our answer, well, we can check that with an else statement. If we don't have the correct answer, that means we have the wrong answer. And I will output wrong. And I will just space this out a little bit. All right, let's do a test run. For the first question, the correct answer is three. I'll type in three, then we print correct. Which part of the computer is considered the brain? I will intentionally get this wrong. Let's say the GPU, wrong. And I'll guess the others. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Then we have to calculate a final score. Okay, then we have to display the final score. So after we get the correct answer, we will increment our score by one, score plus plus. Then we will display the final score. Your final score is, I'll use string concatenation to keep this simple. We'll add our score variable plus the words out of Plus, we're going to get the length of our questions. Questions is an array. Questions.length property. I'm just going to add a space right before out because I'm forgetting that. Let's run this one last time. What is the main function of a router? That is three, directing internet traffic. Which part of the computer is considered the brain? That is the CPU. What year was Facebook launched? I'm going to get this one wrong intentionally. I'm going to say 2000, and that is wrong. Who is known as the father of computers? That is Charles Babbage, four. What was the first programming language? Well, the first commercially available programming language, that would be three, Fortran. Correct, your final score is four out of five. All right, everybody, so that is an interactive quiz game that you can create using Java.